um, today we have this problem we are given an array of n strings uh, all of the all of them are the same length basically uh, the string can be arranged uh, such as there is uh, one and one each line making a grid for example we have this string and we're just building this grid with it um, you want to delete uh, the columns that are not sorted uh, lexicographically in the above example zero indexed columns so basically we have zero a b c this one a b c and we have c e e in the last one c e e and it's quite sorted while b c a it's not sorted so basically we want to delete this one or basically we return and uh, the number of columns should be deleted for this one we have only one column that would be should deleted uh, should be deleted which is the uh, the BCE this one also we have one column should be uh, uh, deleted with I guess the GHI uh, no the <laughs> DF no it's um, okay we have uh, B A uh, uh, B E uh, B E H and uh, yeah so on and so forth I guess the problem it's uh, quite straightforward and let's uh, look how we could uh, we, how we can solve it um, I guess it's um, any problem that has matrix uh, sometimes look quite hard at the beginning but if we just give it a look it's uh, quite easy so basically let's just take as an example we have ABC BCE CEE -E. so basically let's just take this one as an example so we can um, And let's uh, build the grid so physically uh, the grid that we we're going to build we will have we will take the first of each one of them so for here we take a b c and we'll take the second b c e b c e and the force it will be C uh, and the force it will be C E E C E E basically we have two problems right now how we could put this um, into 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 how, how we can actually uh, uh, make f make from this string uh, this grid and how we can com compare it. from 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 uh, the way that we could uh, build this grid uh, it's it's a quite simple I guess that we could make two loops inside each other one to talk about for for each one of them and the second is to make sure that we are taking each character against all of its equivalent it's to make sure that do we have uh, is, it, is, it, is it sorted or not and if it's not sorted maybe we create an uh, oh, sorry oh, the, um, the pen was fallen maybe we'll create a variable called maybe an uh, answer and this one will equal zero and whenever that we found um, one um, one column is not sorted we will multiply we will increase answer by one so for this one answer will equals uh, will equals uh, one instead of zero and uh, and yeah, I guess it uh, the solution will be quite straightforward. I guess the time complexity it will be O of uh, n multiplied by k. K it will be the length of the actual uh, um, string. And actually, we can take about because all of the strings are the same length. We can we can make this uh, solution even easier. So let's start into it. So okay, let's see. I will say that we have. Um, uh, let let k equals a string of of zero no uh, because all of them are the same lengths so just no need to 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 loop once so and actually I will let 
answer if answer equals zero and I will return this answer I will make a for loop I will say let i equals uh, um, um, okay let, let's make a column and grid so, so it will be easier let column call equals um, zero and the columns it will be the number of k basically and uh, um, call is less than k uh, uh, column plus plus and let's start into the code uh, sorry this is um, column plus plus and I will say that um, okay I will have um, um, if uh, uh, string of um, of column okay uh, of um, no 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 I'll make another loop for for, for rows because I want to get each element I'm just I'll make four I will say four um, let row equals uh, I guess row from this one would equals uh, 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 one because we only compare it to to um, to to its previous. So basically, let's go here. We have each column, each column, and we are talking uh, about uh, uh, the, 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 the the rows basically. So I'm just comparing this to this and this to this. So basically, let's just have row one. I could make it uh, zero also, but I will just uh, compare it to the next, not the previous. Row equals one. Row is uh, row is uh, less than st strs no length, and I will say that uh, row uh, plus plus, and and um, I will say f strs strs of row of column less than s strs um, of uh, of row minus one because we compared to the previous Of column so basically row of column let's go back this is will be row of column row of column minus one this one okay so let's continue uh, it will be if um, I will say answer plus plus and I guess I, I should break. There is no need to, to continue to, to look through uh, this specific uh, column. And um, I will say, I guess this, that's it. Okay, so let's describe the code. First of all, we are looping through each column. We have only three columns, okay? So basically, we have these three columns. And we want to compare this to this. Oh, sorry. We want to compare this to this. Okay, and this to this. Okay, basically, but we are going from the next to the previous. So what we are doing here, we first have the answers. We are looping taking each, uh, each each column, and we have each row. And basically, we are comparing that if row dot column, because we are starting row dot column. Where is the if row dot column? Because we're starting from one. It's less. Uh, it's uh, less than row dot column the previous. Okay, we have a problem. That means that we, we will we will we will increase the answers by one, and and only we need to return how many columns are not sorted. Basically, how many columns are not sorted. And yeah, that's it for this uh, today's problem. And see you in next problems.